action begins now.
thank you for joining us. I'm so pleased to be here with you for USANA's Asia Pacific Convention and to celebrate with all of you USANA's 25th anniversary. When I started USANA 25 years ago, I set forth on a journey of discovery that was deeply personal to me. I was not in search of fame or fortune, and I certainly had no grand vision of building the hugely successful global company that exists today. In fact, if someone had told me in those early days that I would one day be standing in front of tens of thousands of associates gathered at conventions all over the world, and particularly here with you, at a sold-out Asia Pacific Convention, with attendees representing 17 countries, I might have said they were neurologically, nutritionally deficient. <laughs> Instead, I was motivated by my personal experience of losing my parents prematurely due to heart disease and cancer. I had a different perspective about health and medicine than most other scientists. Rather than focusing on treating the symptoms of poor health, I focused my work toward promoting optimal cellular health. I believe that through science, we could influence the body's natural ability to maintain health through complete cellular nourishment. I dreamed of making a real contribution to the world, and USANA became the vehicle making that dream a reality. As USANA's founder, I was guided by a vision to take what I had learned about cell science and optimal nutrition and use it to improve the health and well-being of every person on the planet. Today, that simple vision of helping others to achieve and maintain health has become the thread that binds everything we do at USANA. From day one, I knew I could not achieve my vision alone. I understood that if I was to succeed, I needed to surround myself with the very best people in their respective fields. I quickly learned that the principles of nourishing and protecting the cell also apply to building a successful business. Having the right components at the right time, at the right balance, is the key to achieve vibrant growth and vitality. USANA's wealth of talented individuals reflects <laughs> this optimal balance. Together, we have developed the most innovative line of nutritional products available anywhere with unparalleled efficiency and safety. 
Today, USANA leads the way as the cellular nutrition company. As we mark this milestone, we come together to celebrate what we have accomplished together so that we might see how truly bright the road ahead of us has become. And in this spirit of reflection, I would like to acknowledge the many USANA pioneers who have shared our vision over the past 25 years. Pioneers who have carried our message around the world at times against great obstacles. Pioneers who have served as beacons for so many others to find their own way. I thank you. I also see so many new faces. at this convention, and I'm so pleased that you have made the life-changing decision to join USANA's global family, the healthiest family on Earth. You are the ones to carry our vision forward. You are the USANA pioneers of the next 25 years. As I look forward, I have never been more confident in our future. I have never been more resolute that together we will fulfill our desire of changing the world through optimal cellular nutrition. And I have never been more pleased that each of you will play a role in our collective destiny. I'm convinced that by embracing this vision of nourishing ourselves with all of life's essential nutrients and providing what they need to reach their maximum health potential, we can truly become the positive change that we all want to see in our world. One man who embraces this vision, our vision, is Sterling Otteson. If you don't already know Sterling, he has been with USANA since it all began. And even now, after 25 years, he continues to work tirelessly to grow his business and to build a life for himself and his family. A life that Sterling describes as immensely satisfying. Sterling strives for excellence in everything he does. This man represents the very best of who we are and the very best of who we can become. And as you'll see, his positive attitude is simply infectious. It is my great pleasure to introduce to this stage USANA's very first distributor.
This is my first time in Singapore. I will come back for our 50th convention again. This is really an exciting moment in USANA's history. This year we are celebrating our 25th, 25th year of belonging to the best company in the world. This is the best company that does nutrition like no one else, and this is a company that truly changes lives. Doesn't it? Yes. This feels like, when I've come here, this is really an exciting group. Whoa. I thought I heard a drum roll over there. <laughs> but this is what it felt like when I learned of the company over 25 years ago. I couldn't be more excited about what's happening right now with our USANA family. It's like a brand new beginning all over again, 25 years. And with a new beginning, it becomes new opportunities where together we change the lives of others. I believe that all of us have opportunities that come by that can change us. We have to, however, be ready to act on them or these opportunities can pass us by. These opportunities are like forks in our road. If we're ready and we're willing, these forks change us and they open up new doors to an entirely new reality. Perhaps you being here today is your fork in the road. Do you think? I think it is. I congratulate you for being here. But here's the question. How do we tell which fork in the road is the right one to take. Here's what I've learned from my experience in USANA. If the fork we choose offers these things, it's the right choice. First, it requires us to change for the better. Number two, it requires effort. And it's difficult, and it takes time. Three, this correct fork in the road requires improving the lives of others. Remember this, people matter most. Things matter less, or not at all, eventually. It's all about people. Four, this will take time. I've been in this 25 years, it takes time, but I promise you, it's worth it. It's worth it. Worth it. Number five, it will outlast you. It will go beyond your life. If you choose the right fork, you will engage yourself in something that will last beyond your life. My fork in the road came 25 years ago. I was running my own small, small alarm security company. I put in burglar alarms. That's what I did. I was spending long, stressful hours away just trying to make a living. I was away from my wife, a wonderful wife, and a young family of four way too much. I knew there had to be a better way, and then it happened. Because I was ready for change, and because I was ready to act on it, I met a passionate scientist, someone who is one of my dearest friends. And that's Dr. Myron Lutz. He offered me a chance to be part of something that had never been done before. What an incredible individual. Let me tell you the story about USANA from my perspective from the very beginning. I have never done this on stage before. <laughs> It's important to know that we're here today because of choices and actions of this incredible man. I was invited to meet him along with several other people at Go Laboratories in Salt Lake City, Utah in 1991, almost a year before USANA began. And this was a day in my life that I will never forget. 
Dr. Wentz eventually offered me a chance to be part of something that had never been done before. He told me about his vision. It was then that I knew that I'd met someone that I could trust and someone who could change the lives for so many people. And look what's happened today. When I walked into Go Laboratories in 1991, I knew I was in a special place. I saw things that were a result of a lifetime of preparation and work. I learned that Dr. Wentz had spent two decades before I met him. He had completed an advanced formal education and had earned a PhD in microbiology with an emphasis in immunology. That's a lot of school. If you think going through our starter kit is hard, that's hard. <laughs> He was world renowned. He was considered the very best in producing test kits for hospitals and labs all over the world. Go Lab test kits help diagnose disease, viral disease, and they enable doctors to work for cures. Dr. Wentz was number one in the world at doing this. Dr. Wentz. Dr. Wentz knew what he was doing. As I went through a tour of the facilities, I was most intrigued by the cell culture laboratories on the second floor. In addition to these test kits, Dr. Wentz grew human cells. And he needed these for his work. And he was considered world class in growing cells as well. Every day, billions and billions were grown. Every day, week in, week out, year in, year out. What was important to me is that over the years, Dr. Wentz had learned. He had learned what cells needed to stay to grow healthy. I still was trying to see the future. Test kits, a lot of cells. And then I was taken over to another building. And Dr. Wentz probably doesn't know, but this is where it came together for me. It was another building. It was Dole Natural Products Division. It was equally stunning. But it was different, and I could see where Dr. Wentz's work and things were starting to make more sense. Dr. Wentz was heading in a new direction. It was his fork in the road. He was learning new skills, he was developing a new vision for the future, and his vision was to develop the number one products for human health in the world, and produce them. and to produce them at the highest quality and scrutiny at FDA levels which were required for pharmaceutical drugs. It had never been done before. It didn't have to be done. He wanted to do it. Dr. Winch's vision was to eliminate all doubt about quality and the creation of USANA Health Sciences. And we would be the flagship to produce the most trusted brand in the world. This is really a great proof. That was the vision then. It's the reality today, and that's why we're here. Well, this was a stunning day when I met Dr. Wentz at the laboratories, and it was several meetings. And as I drove home, there you are. And as I drove home after meeting Dr. Wentz, I realized that this was my fork in the road. And I needed to prepare and do whatever I could to get ready for this. I was also wondering, as I drove home, what on earth am I going to tell my wife? <laughs> she was waiting, she was anxious. And so I started creating my story. <laughs> I needed to tell her and help her understand this great thing that was going to come. And I was, I was so excited. I mean, I was talking and driving at the same time, creating my first presentation to my wife. <laughs> I had it all down. It was great. You'd have loved it. I'd start by saying, Mary, I met Dr. Wentz. He's world class. He's the best scientist with credentials. He's going to be the best in producing products that detect viruses, or he is the best 
and he's the expert in growing cells, lots of cells. She even told me years later, that's how I describe cells, lots of cells. <laughs> and he knows better than anyone what's needed for optimal health. And now he's expanding his vision. He plans to create the best products available in-house and to make them available through networking with the most fair compensation plan in the industry. And the best part, Mary, is that he's invited me to join. Life's going to be great. Aren't we excited? Well, she wasn't very excited. And the next morning, she told me what my presentation was like. She said it was a little bit of, it was a mixed bag. It was like some cell culture here, test kits there. Dr. Wentz had a great head of hair. Life's going to be great. <laughs> so I realized, oh, I need to drastically improve my presentation skills of the Dr. Wentz story in the health sciences. Even though it's the greatest story in the world about health and time freedom, a great story is not enough. We need to all improve our presentation skills. I certainly did. Three of ourselves. Important question. What would you do if you were in my shoes 25 years ago? If you were me, would you be excited? I was excited. And so, as you were driving home, how would you feel after going through the labs? Would you recognize this for what it was? An opportunity of a lifetime. Or would you let it fade away because of the pressures and demands that you currently have? That's a good question. It's an important question because it's exactly where each of you are today. There is no difference between the opportunity that was offered me 25 years ago and what's being offered to us all today. It is the same. We all start the same and we lift where we stand in the song. And the only thing that is different from your opportunity and my opportunity is effort over time. If you do the time and you do the effort, you will have the result. That's how life works. <laughs> Dr. Wentz has been passionate from the beginning, and he is to this day. He is a world-class scientist with a world-class vision, and he has the ability to improve the health and change lives of everyone. As a result, our products are even better. Our compensation plan is the standard in the industry, and USANA is a stable, billion dollar a year company. I look back 25 years ago and it was difficult to see this day. The light of USANA was always bright, but it was small. It was always bright but small and it's grown and grown and I am, I am so grateful. We all have the same opportunity and please hear me when I say this. This is your fork in the road today. This week is your fork. And it's life-changing if you choose to take it on. And that's why we're here. That's why you're here. Your fork in the road. During those early days, I worked on a personal basis with Dr. Wentz. First in the laboratories and then in our new building. And I watched how USANA took shape. Building a USANA business back then, hmm, I'm often asked, what was it like? What was it like 25 years ago? Do you remember those Motorola brick phones? When I started my business, I had some very basic brochures. The first were in black and white. If I wanted to expand my team, I needed to get in my car and drive to go see them. Across state lines, everywhere training the same. To share a video, I had to mail a VHS tape in the mail. <laughs> Things have changed, all for the better. It was hard work. I promise you, it was not easier then, it was hard. 
People didn't call me. They were not lined up in front of USANA at the front doors. I had to go find them, just like we all do. I faced a lot of rejection. I heard a lot of no's, a lot of no's. But alongside the no's, there were yeses. And that's what matters. We only remember the yes. yes. There were some growing pains. There were. There were difficulties. There were disappointments. But because of the difficulties and the disappointments, there were triumphs. Growth and rewards come as a result of going through difficulties. There is no other way. That's how life works. And remember that all good things in life come by choosing an uphill course. Good things are uphill. With the original essentials, I remember those. <laughs> We, we shattered the mold. We shocked the world. First pharmaceutical grade nutritional products in the world. It made us unique and we offered something that inspired others. This was the top ranked nutritional supplement and USANA was something that I really believed in and I do to this day. That is why I'm here. I knew it was something that I could be successful with. But more importantly, I felt that others could be successful with it as too. And the feeling back then was electric. It was electric. It made us stand above everyone and everything else. And USANA's intelligence technology that we have now is the next evolution of our nutritional science. If I know one thing, it's this. Dr. Wentz, is committed to excellence. He always has been. Innovation continues at USANA. It will never stop. It's what makes USANA so unique. It's a company that's always willing to change to stay relevant and ahead of the curve. For us, that's important. That really is. And I can assure you it's been 25 years that Dr. Wentz is still swinging for the fences. That's what he does. Dr. Wentz knows what he is doing. Since the beginning, I've watched how USANA product lines have evolved. I've seen the compensation plan improve in remarkable ways. And I've looked into the eyes of tens of thousands of associates whose lives have been changed forever. Every change makes our family healthier and stronger. USANA has an incredible legacy of excellence. May I offer you three tips for your future that are time-tested from our founder, Dr. Wentz. Number one, tips to help your business create and live a vision in your life. Do not be a boat out there without a rudder. Create a vision in your life and live it. This will not, number two, this is not easy. This experience of building a business is not easy, but it's worth it. Oh my heavens, it's worth it. Three, improve your skills and work with passion in what you do with USANA. Let's go back to number one and let's talk about the first tip, and that is creating a vision. This is a written, <laughs> living document about yourself and what you do and what you want and how you feel. Look no further than Dr. Wentz's story from 25 years ago on how to do this. I have a newsletter that I keep from the first year of USANA and here it is. I was going to keep, it's the only one left in existence. <laughs> Hermetically sealed in my safe. It is not for sale on eBay. <laughs> but I, I, I usually keep everything. I don't anymore, but I keep this. And I keep this because this was our first newsletter, and it's a perfect example of Dr. Wentz's consistency over time. It has a brief accounting of his life and purpose, and this vision statement has stayed the same from 25 years ago until today. 
It's still on our main website. Can you read this with me? The USANA family will be the healthiest family on earth. Share my vision. Love life and live it to its fullness and happiness and health. That's a vision statement. That is worth getting behind. That's worth pushing for. That's how you do it. Dr. Lentz knows exactly what he's doing. That's worth getting behind. The second item, and this is a tough one for folks. It's not easy, but it will be worth it. Many times I've had, and it happened today, I have associates come up and they say, Sterling, how did you learn to do this? You never had an upline. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not really true. I really have an upline. In fact, it's Dr. Wentz. <laughs> he is the ultimate upline. He leads by example, and I have learned by watching and applying for 25 years. It's never been easy for him, but he is relentless in keeping on task and focusing on what matters. There have been many difficult and trying moments for him in the creation of USANA. Some real tough moments. But he has stayed on task, he's moved it forward, and I have seen him in the most private and public situations, surrounded by those pushing their opinions, pressing him to the maximum. And he handles these situations with grace and dignity all the time. He is too busy by important things to be swayed by naysayers of the world. That's an important lesson for us all. The last and third point is to develop skills and to work with passion. Excitement always helps. Again, I'm turning to the example of Dr. Wentz. He needed skills to be ready for the day when USANA would be born. A formal advanced education with a PhD in microbiology was just the beginning. He spent almost two labs, almost two decades in Go Labs, becoming world renowned with his viral research and cell culture technology. Those decades prepared him and they gave him confidence that he needed to launch into a new career that would require mastering many new skills. One of those skills would be public speaking. When I first met Dr. Wentz at Go Labs, he was quiet, he was deliberate, and he was dignified. He said exactly what was needed and no more. <laughs> he recognized the reality that public speaking and that it's difficult for most of us to do, but it would be a part of his future. And he needed to prepare himself so that he could speak powerfully about the USANA message, and he really does. He has become the most desired, number one, listened to speaker worldwide in our USANA family. Yes, he knows what he's doing. Consider his decades of learning to be ready for what's to come. That's a great example of being prepared for life. Again, our starter kit's not that difficult, is it? Get through that. Self-improvement is always our best investment. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here, my first time in Singapore. What a great, beautiful place. Wow. I want you to know that I appreciate the great history and the legacy of this company that we're all a part of. USANA is incredible. It's the best of its kind in the world, the very best. It changes lives. What more can be said? I don't know what else to say. 
I implore you to grasp the importance of this moment that you're engaged in by and here today and this week. Here's a question for you. What if Dr. Wins had stayed in his past success at the laboratories, his past success, his past comfort zone, and just called it a day? What if you stay in your past successes or in your comfort zone and you call it a day? It would not it would be easier, but it would not be better. It would not have been better for him or for us. A great example again by Dr. Wentz. Look what had been lost had he not continued on the Asana. I'm forever grateful that he has set an example for us. First, start. Second, stay the course. Third, become better by doing it. That's a great example by Dr. Wentz. I share a few thoughts about what USANA has done for me. Sometimes it's easier to see it and hear it so that you can do it yourself. Before I met Dr. Wentz, as I mentioned, I was a small, small business owner, gone too much, working too hard, and I was missing important things in life. I have a wonderful wife, her name is Mary four young children, and in my quiet moments back then, I could calculate the costs, and honestly, I was, I was losing. Perhaps many of you today are in the same situation that I was then. I, I needed some help, and Dr. Wentz appeared in my life, and he offered He offered me an opportunity that I could have found nowhere else. Heaven sent? I really believe so. Remember, what he offered me then is the same thing that you saw it is offering you now. You just need to recognize it for what it is and respond accordingly and not let the daily pressures of things dilute that for you. I remember becoming a gold director. It took time, but I remember earning that first check as a gold director. It was the first time I'd ever earned that much in a week in my life. Checks came in the mail back then. That was a great thing. And I remember going out to the mailbox and opening it up and looked at the check, and I already knew what it would be, but it didn't matter. I looked at that, and I, I sat down on the curb by our mailbox, and I just had tears going down my eyes. For the first time since becoming a husband and a father, I knew things would work out. have felt the same. Getting by, but not really living. Always in fear of not being enough, or providing enough, or becoming enough. I'm asking you all to look at the blessing that this company offers. I'm asking for you to stand up for yourselves, and to reach out and grasp what is being offered by USANA, and move forward and build yourself a future by building others. We change lives for the better. What better career is there than that? One of the markers in my life was, things were getting better, was having more time with my family and the finances and the freedom to go and do things with them. And what is the best thing you can do with your family? Fishing. Come on, 
<laughs> Kevin Guest and I were talking about this backstage. We're going to Alaska after convention in August. I'm excited. Fishing is one of those noble pursuits. And here's a few pictures of our children. You saw it confined it to one page. I had many pages. <laughs> but these are the types of experiences you do not forget as a father. Because I made the decision long ago that I would be at USANA for life. Make that decision. I am in USANA for life. Because I made that decision now, I get to live the life that I wanted. Our children started to raise their own families. Wow. Wow. And what a blessing it is to have the time and the means to be with them. I think my wife is a professional baby hugger. <laughs> we now have eight grandchildren, going on nine. Number nine is a, a boy we know already. Boys are easier to take fishing. <laughs> Something about those essentials over the years, I guess, but good things just become happening. I'm gonna tell just a quick story about our family and grandkids. It's not on my, my, my report, but about five years ago, we had something happen. We're really big on getting together at least once a month, no matter what, for Sunday dinner at our home with our children and grandchildren. And about five years ago, it was just, kind of like sometimes our USANA meetings, they taper off, and so I felt like I needed to, Need to get this going again. And so, with my presentation skills learned from my first encounter with my wife, I sat down with each one of my kids in person. You never text this, you tell this in person. And I said, you're not coming to Sunday dinner. And I heard the excuses. I would not be dismayed or moved off that. And I said, Here's how it's going to play out. Mother wants you home for Sunday dinners. I can't listen to your excuses. Someday mom and I will not be here. But because of USANA, twice a day, every day for life, it'll be a long time. <laughs> but someday we will not be here and you will meet with our family attorney and our distributorship will be divided up in its income between the four of you <laughs> according to how often you attend Sunday dinner. <laughs> they were stunned and they said that. And I said, that's not all. You're not married yet. If you have a spouse there with you, you're a point, he's a point, and you saw it, everything's points. <laughs> and everything's points. That's how I live my life. And so, if you're their point, spouse a point, grandkids, two points each. And so when we say family prayer, and I look around the table, I am counting points. We have excellent family dinner attendance. Excellent. Great incentive. They often ask me, Dad, is this real? Are you really counting? You're not really, and I say, better show up. <laughs> but I'm regularly reminded that these great things in my life have occurred because Dr. Wentz, 25 years ago, decided to keep moving forward. Because of that, hundreds of thousands of lives around the world have been affected for good. And we all need to do the same. We all make important contributions to this USANA family. Consider your future and your contribution with the lives of others by starting, staying the course, and becoming better in the process. That's how life works. So back to that fork in the road I faced 25 years ago. It's the same fork that many of you face today. Was it the right choice for me is this the right choice for you? Let's go back to our five points of criteria on choosing the right choice. One, 
It requires us to change for the better. I am a better person because I have met Dr. Wentz. A great quote by Jim Rohn that I really like, and that is, whatever good things we build end up building us. Isn't that true? Second point, this will require effort. It's difficult, it's hard, it takes time, it can be disappointing, but it's worth it, isn't it? Yes. It is worth it. Third point, on your fork in the road, it involves changing the lives of others. And tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands have been changed by those decisions that were made 25 years ago. Fourth, it will take time. Please remember that, it takes time. Not this week, not next week, months, years. It takes time, but it's worth it. Fifth point, it will outlast you. USANA has affected our family, our children, our grandchildren for generations, from the, from the health, from the aspect, and from the financial positions it has placed us in. Thank you, USANA family. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Lentz, for providing the leadership, the road, and your great example over time. This is my day one story. I've never told it like this before. But now it's about you, and it's time to celebrate yours. And so for many of you here that are here today are just starting, how many of you are brand new in the last month, just joined? Quite a few. Many of you are here and you're facing that big fork in the road and you've made the right choice. And I want you to know that we appreciate you and we recognize you for taking these courageous and exciting first steps. So what we're going to do now is we are going to recognize and be ready when you're called. Please be ready to stand. But we believe in you, Sonny, in recognizing achievement. We do this so well. It's what we do. And so, USANA's core values is taking care of our own and recognizing those that have put in so much hard work. It's our privilege today, it is my privilege, to celebrate your success. So, let's time, let's celebrate those associates who in the past year have reached the level, that first level of achievement. Will all the new shares please stand up? And please bring your hands together for them. New shares. Thank you, new shares. This next group has also achieved new heights over the last year. New believers, would you please stand? We saw them give them a big round of applause. Thank you, new believers. That leads us to asking the next group to stand. A little tougher, new builders. New builders. Now let's recognize our new achievers. New achievers, will you stand? Let's hear it from them. Thank you, new achievers. Reaching another milestone, it's time to ask USANA's new directors to please stand. Directors. This last achievement is a big step in becoming a leader of our USANA family. I would like to ask our bronze directors to please stand. Give me please a big humble thanks for each of this level. Congratulations, bronze directors.
Thank you, everyone, our day one heroes. Thank you for being here. Chai worked day and night as a department store sales supervisor just to cover her basic needs. But today, she now has the time and financial freedom to 